we have got a simple scenario here and the purpose of it is to show you how the set and reset commands work. We're also going to show you how to use the counter. In our application here, we are going to use a conveyor band engine. When we press the start button of this band here, um, the band engine will start and it will carry the band. When we press the stop button, conveyor band engine will stop. Also, there will be boxes on those conveyor bands. And when these boxes pass through the sensors, it will trigger the counter here, and the counter will gain one value. This is a simple scenario. Just as I have told you before, the purpose of it is to show you how the set and reset commands are used. We have already showed the structure of these commands one by one. And with this simple application, we will show those to you in 3D. Now, um, let's, uh, let's open our 3D animation and start up the system. Now, at first, we will take our PLC into spectator mode. Let's watch it from here. We will start up the simulation. Like this, we are opening the simulator. And um, from here, uh, we will inspect our 3D design. As you can see, we can also look our 3D animation, 3D simulation, from far away. Like this. If you like, you can look at it from any perspective you wish. Um, we have got a simple uh, conveyor band here. And there are start and stop buttons on it. As you can see. And over here, I mean over there, we have got an engine, you see. When this engine starts, the boxes that are coming from this way will pass through the sensor. And as they pass through, the counter will gain one value. I am able to start and stop it from here. And as you can see here, I have got an option to observe over my PLC. I will open the software now. Um, there is a leftover 15 here from our last application. I will reset it through my PLC here. I can reset the value of the counter by pressing 03 button. Now, I have started the program, or rather, the simulation. Yet, what happened? The engine here stopped. For this engine to start, I will need to press the buttons here. These buttons. From there, I will zoom in a little bit, like this. Look at what happened when I pressed the start button. The piece passed through. Look, first piece got through. Second piece is coming. Third piece is passing through the sensor, as you can see. And the fourth is there. The fifth one goes like this. I have stopped it. Look, it is stopped. Start it again. Look. At the moment it starts and stops, observe this step. Um, look, I will stop it again. From there, I will stop it again. Look, you see, the engine stopped. I will start it again. Look, guys. Um, when, uh, when a piece passes through, you can see the open and closed positions of the sensor. The same way we will open our software. Let's have a look at it. As you can see, the motor continues working as set. My motor here continues working as set. What happened when a piece passes through the sensor? Look, the pieces are passing and whenever a piece passes through the counter, it will gain one value. As you can see, what was the purpose here? Today, we showed you the use of set and reset roles by connecting a sensor. And you have also observed here how the counter gains value. We showed you how the upper counter is used. Of course, we will continue to explain you the working principles of PLC by creating more projects in deeper detail. And yes, uh, as you have seen in the examples before, they will also be in 3D. If you wish, you can observe the system. Let's do it like this. We will try to stop it using the PLC. Look at the PLC. Like this. Look what happened. You have the option to start up or stop it from here too. Thus, we have completed the simulation. See you later.